National Hockey League great, John Ferguson, our general manager of the Winnipeg Jets, the man chosen by the AWA Championship Committee to maintain law and order inside of that 12-foot high steel cage. Zukov continuing to hammer away at the now bloody, the crimson face of heavyweight champion Rick Martell. And again, Martell face first into that steel cage. Ah. Martell in serious trouble. In serious trouble. Martell trying to dig down deep. That's got to it if he's going to hold on to this title. Oh, Zukov with a close line that just about took off his head. You can see a close-up shot now. Count of one. A count of two. Martell is able to kick him off. Martell in serious, serious trouble. Capacity crowd on him here at the Winnipeg Arena to run. Witness the first time ever the championship of the world inside of a steel cage. Oh! He's all the way. He's on the cage. Rick Martell, the reason he's heavyweight champion, had enough presence about him to duck what could have been the lethal final blow. Now Zukov setting him up, trying to put him into a pile driver. Martell is able to lift with a back body drop. from the bloody champion. This one is far from over. Oh, my God, that's just up into the cage. getting the upper hand, the crowd here loving it. Capacity crowd on hand here in Winnipeg. And what a battle this one has been. Martell with a series of haymakers. Head first into that lethal steel cave. Definitely John Ferguson, general manager of the Winnipeg Jets, watching the action intently. Ten minutes into this one as Martell continues to hammer away. Zukov face beginning to bleed as he's the champion. Both fans covering his ground. Look at Martell. Martell, the French Canadian out of Quebec City in high gear. Martell setting him up for a pile driver. He's got him up. Brings him down. The crowd roars. Martell goes for cover. Ferguson, kind of two. Zukov able to kick out the last instance. Martell picks up the bloody Russian. Almost lost his balance. Now he's got him up. Oh, look at this. Head first and takes him into the cage. Head first into the cage. Martell now up on the second rope. Comes off with a boot to the chest area. With Martell in command of this one. Oh, Martell again, head first into the top of the cage. Martell up on the second row. Just hammering away on Sukov. Crowd throwing it, counting it down ten times. What's keeping the Russian on his feet? Both men down, exhausted. What a pace they have kept up. Coming up on 15 minutes. A grueling pace. The cage, take a look. The faces of Zukov. Of Rick Martell, the cage has done its damage. Zukov gets Martell a back suplex. Both men on the brink of exhaustion. You can see the blood. Zukov crawling over. Goes for the cover. 
Count of one, count of two. Mattel crosses him off. At stake here, the heavyweight championship of the world. Oh, Mattel, the victim of a vicious clothesline. Count of two. Mattel somehow able to dig down deep, able to throw him off. Zukov slams Martel to the mat. Look at the exhaustion. Both men, Zukov unable to follow it up. Both men totally exhausted. Now wait a minute, what's Zukov doing? Climbing up, he's on the second rope. Look at John Ferguson trying to shake the rope. Oh, Ferguson got him off. Martel goes to the cover. He got him! He got him! Rick Martel, the winner! And still heavyweight champion of the world! Referee John Ferguson refused to let Zukov go up on the top rope. And it was Rick Martel retaining the heavyweight championship of the world! We told you John Ferguson would maintain law and order in that ring. He was not about to let the record come off the top rope. 